This video is presented by NewWoodworker.com. The Jet Deluxe Exacta saw is comfortable in a home or professional shop. With the cast iron extension wings installed, the work surface is 42 inches long and 29 inches deep. Add the extension table for the 30 inch fence and that grows to 58 and a quarter inches. Being a true cabinet saw, the table is connected to the cabinet by a single bolt in each corner and that makes this saw very easy to align. This push button spindle lock makes changing blades very easy. And Jet includes the only wrench you need for changing blades. The blade guard system is all modular and tool free. After locking the splitter in place, the throat insert can be installed slipping over the splitter. Push the button on the riving knife assembly and that clicks into place onto the splitter. And then the blade guard assembly itself clips onto the rear of the splitter. That's also tool free. The side panels of the blade guard are totally independent of each other. This can make some setup operations easier. More importantly, only the panel with wood under it rises up. The other panel stays flat on the table to help dust collection and contain debris. Jet also offers riving knives that fit this guard system. And because of the modular, tool-free design, making that change takes just a few seconds. There really is no good excuse for not using a riving knife or not going back to the full guard system when you need to. And because the riving knife and splitter are mounted directly to the trunnion, they follow the blade up and down when you make changes. Naturally, they also follow the blade into bevel settings. Below the table is the massive 3 horsepower 220 volt motor. And that's mounted directly to the equally massive cast iron trunnion assembly. All of this mass makes this a very smooth running saw. You can see here that Jet sure didn't run out of cast iron when it came time to make the bevel assembly. If you can do anything to mess up this trunnion system, you're doing something very, very wrong. Much of the blade below the table is enclosed in a shroud. A 4-inch diameter hose connects that shroud to the 4-inch diameter dust port on the back of the cabinet. And that port is just to the side of the junction box where you connect this saw to power. I'll need to move this saw around the shop, so I put it in a Jet Heavy Duty Universal Base. To adjust the size of this base, you pull this plunger and put the pin in one of the sizing holes. To lock the main back wheels, you just step on the lever. To unlock them, you step on the top part of the lever. Casters on the other end make it easy to steer this saw as you're moving it around the shop. Moving a cabinet saw that weighs several hundred pounds to where you need it has never been easier. This saw has two 8 inch diameter cast iron wheels that operate very smooth mechanisms within the cabinet. At the center of the wheels is the all steel locking pins. And what's different about these is when you screw them down tight, they don't make any change at all to that wheel setting. The front of the cabin has a bevel scale with large easy to read numbers and an adjustable pointer. The side of the cabin has hangers for storing the miter gauge and the fence when it's not in use. And Jet added this drawer to the bottom of the cabinet so you can keep all your accessories on board. The exact defense tube that comes with this saw is just as tough as it is accurate. The main tube in front has an easy to read scale and the fence itself has a correctable magnified cursor. Adjusting screws at both ends of the main guide bar makes setting this fence up very easy. The single locking lever is easy to use and locks the fence down very tightly. And this fence doesn't use laminated wood faces like most do. Each side of the exact fence has a 3 quarter inch thick slab of HDPE, or high density polyethylene for the chemically inclined. That material is very slick and allows your wood to slide along them very easily and predictably. It also includes a pretty nice miter gauge. It has a full size steel bar with the T-slot follower. And it has a flip out lock for the adjustable 90 and both 45 degree positions. And a rubberized main handle also locks the miter fence in whatever position you need. If you're looking for a cabinet saw, you owe it to yourself to take a hard look at the Jet Deluxe Exacta saw. This saw is very well made, has lots of power, and all the features you need. And because Jet equipment is so popular, you can often find this saw at a very good price. 